Welcome to Iris ID Systems. The duration of this video and all screenshots were done using Windows 7, therefore some of the screens may look different if using a previous version of Windows. This video is to assist users for troubleshooting the following symptoms that may be caused by devices having older firmware versions. One troubleshooting topic is that the iCamp TD100 may not be recognized by the computer or states that it is an unknown device. A second topic is that the iCAM TD100 LED lights do not turn on when the device is powered on and connected to the computer. If you are experiencing either of these topics, the following video will show you how to install the additional downloader driver for the iCAM TD100 and may fix these troubleshooting areas. Before installing the additional downloader driver, we need to make sure that we have the correct Iris ID VDM version and Adar software version. First, be sure that you have already installed the Iris ID VDM version 2.05 or above. This would have been installed during the Adar software installation when you selected the Iris ID iCAM Vendor Device Manager as shown here. Secondly, be sure that the Adar software is at least version number 1.2.0.18 or above. This can be found in the bottom right hand corner of the Adar software application homepage or by clicking the About tab as shown in this example. When you click the About tab, you will see that the version number that we currently have running is 1.2.0.18. After confirming that we have the correct version numbers, we can install the additional downloader driver for the iCAM TD100. To install the TD100 downloader driver, first be sure that your device is connected to your PC and that it is powered on. Open the control panel from the start menu and open the device manager. You should see an unknown device under other devices or under the universal serial bus controllers. If you do not see this, check to be sure that the iCAM TD100 has power. Right click on the unknown device and select update driver software. Next, select to browse my computer for driver software and then choose let me pick from a list of device drivers. Then scroll to the bottom and select the universal serial bus controllers and click next. By selecting Iris ID under manufacturers, you will notice the iCAM TD100 Iris recognition driver is displayed to the right under model. For iCAM TD100's having older firmware, we need to install an additional driver for communication between the computer and the device. To do this, select Have Disk and choose to browse the computer. Open the C drive and then open the Program Files folder. Next, open the Iris ID Systems folder, which was installed during the installation of the Adar software along with the Iris ID VDM. Next, select the iCAM TD100 VDM folder and then the Drivers folder. Select the TD100 Down folder. The TD100 Downloader driver is what you want to select to install on the computer. Click Open and then click OK to choose this file and then Next to proceed. When prompted with the following warning, choose to install this driver software anyway. This will then begin the installation of the TD100 downloader driver. You have now successfully installed the additional TD100 downloader driver. This should allow you to enroll users with the iCAM TD100 through the Adar software application. If after watching this video you are still having troubleshooting issues with the iCAM TD100, Please email us with any questions or concerns at uidai underscore support at irisid.com. Thank you for watching this video on how to install the additional driver for the iCAM TD100.